Hello, it's me, the person who always has a cat in his room, cause uh, because that because it's her room now. So um, all right, have to check something. All right, so uh, I had this uh, video idea f uh, in my head for uh, a little bit. I already made uh, I already made this already, but I I didn't think it was good enough, so I never uploaded it. It's kind of kind of slow and stuff, and I was kind of mumbling too. So yeah, that's what happens when I talk fast. But but this time I go on talk normally. I don't know what went on last time during the original recording of this of this idea video, you know. So the thing is, I want to show you. Um. Well, you guys already know my favorite tower and stuff. I want to show you my friend's favorite towers too. It's like uh four. There's like a uh, four four only four that I know of that I, that I actually know what their favorite towers are and stuff. Everybody else I don't know. So yeah. So um. So um. Like always. Uh. I think we can start off with my my favorite tower. You can't start off. A favorite tower video without without um showing your ta without sh without showing your favorite tower first, then Landon, you, you know that. Okay, so um, this here is my favorite tower. You all know what this is. It's the all famous Walmart tower. It's right next to Walmart. Well, it's on the other side of the highway, at least from Walmart. I don't know why, but this is a red and white monopole, and it's even and it's closer to Staples than it is Walmart. So I don't know why I ever why I don't know why I never called this a Staples Tower. <laughs> it's kind of weird. That would have been more fitting for the for a nickname since both uh, both the building and the tower are red and white and stuff, and the tower is closer to Staples. But I just for some reason I decided to just name it the Walmart Tower. Just because there's a Walmart in this area. So, this here was built in 2002. Has like uh, two and uh, has like three and a half. Yeah, three and a half platforms of, uh, well, you know, three platforms and a few little cell antennas and stuff here and there. Like, the first two are on top. You got a small one as the first one on top. You got a, a little bit of a wider one below it. And then you got the then you got um, the one that has the most cell antennas on it, which is the uh, the middle set, the third one. And then right below it, we have like a, a few poles here that hold that hold some I mean that hold some antennas here and there. So that's all the tower has. So um. This tower used to have a, um, an FH uh, FH three hundred nine. We all know the story of what happened to this. But for anybody who's new on here, and well, too new to know what my favorite tower is, I uh, just wanted to tell you all this again. But this ha this used to have a uh, it used to have an FH three hundred nine, basically like the the half incandescent. That's why I like to call it the half incandescent. Even though it's a, it has a halogen light bulb inside of it, I still call it the half incandescent because it flashes the same way. It fades and fades and fades. And then we have the sign markers, which um, they only come with one pair of sign markers because they're not old school like the old school incandescents that always come with two sets of sign markers. But this is this is fine. I think this is just fine with the. Uh, with the the one, only one set of markers, somewhere in 2000, 2016, I believe, or maybe two thousand seventeen, the FH three hundred nine the FH the FH three hundred nine was replaced with uh, some mysterious night mode only LED. So yeah, um, at least uh, at least um, the tower was lucky enough to uh, to not get its beacon replaced somewhere around like twenty nineteen or twenty twenty. Or current day right now, you know, because if so, then it probably would have a, a a day and night mode LED right now. 
because um, all the towers that used to have um, all the towers that used to have incandescence or some sort of night mode only beacon get replaced with uh, with white and red LEDs. They have day modes now. I know a few towers with uh, with that horrible horrible fate. It's a curse fate, you know. It got a little bit of it got a little bit of taking. Well, no, it it you know um when I first found out about it, I was just I was just like, I mean, I was just like, ugh, man, why do this? Like, man, it used to have incandescence. That was supposed to only shine red at night. And then you replace it with LEDs that that are cap that have the capability of shining both colors. Man, what are you guys thinking? Like this is cursed. I, I really don't like this. No. So uh, yeah, any in this here has some old street view. It's called Houston Road, even though that we're kind of far away from Houston right now. This is Rolla. Uh, okay, the beacon's being blocked, but this here is uh, before 2016 and 17, so you're able, you'll be able to uh, see, um, you'll, you'll be able to see its old beacon. There it is. You can see it's clearly an uh, FH309. Kind of looks big as well, so yeah. I think that's uh, one thing that, I think that's... Uh, well, one of the main things that made this tower so mem memorable for me is because I already known the shape of incandescent beacons. The only thing I didn't know about them is that there was an old school version of them. I thought they were all red and not clear with red cones inside. I thought they were just all red. And then I seen this. And then I um. And then when I got old enough to actually um start remembering moments in my life, I. I remember I looked up at the tower and noticed how the beacon flashes just like those weird, those weird fading beacons, aka the incandescent. But I don't, I don't know why I really called them back when I was little. I didn't know they were called incandescents back then. I didn't know they had incandescent light bulbs and stuff like that. But I know that this here. Um, I know that this the the beacon here was not normal because uh, it's it, the shape is not normal, but it flashes just like those beacons, you know. So I was just like, hmm, that's uh that's pretty weird. It's uh, pretty pretty unique, because no other tower in my area that shines red, that that only shines red has this beacon. Back then, um, back then the. Yeah, back then when I was um, littler, towers that only shined red would usually have incandescent beacons. We got the Walmart tower. We got the the old Highway Patrol tower. We got the that one red and white tower next to that beaconless monopole that's next to uh, Subway Price Chopper and all that. And, and we also have um, we also have that that one tower down like that one one tower that's like right at, that's right next to city limits and all that like it's very close to st james and stuff and then um yeah those well and then we got the the um, i forgot about this one but we got the 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 smaller kcnn tower that that's that's uh, used for kcnn and three other radio stations it has a dead old school incandescent on it and surprisingly, only one set of markers, too. I would imagine it having two sets of markers, but this tower wasn't so lucky. So, yeah, those are the only towers that had incandescence or or uh, half incandescent, you know. And then um, we had, and then um, the other tower that only shined red had modern LED, I, I mean old school, I, old school night mode only LEDs. You all know what that one is. That's the first, the that's the that first red and white tower clone. You know, it's a clone of um, it's uh it's the original, and there's more. There's like a few clones of it, but I I consider it to be the first clone of just the entire tower tower thing. You know, so so yeah, those are all the towers I known of that sh that only shined red and stuff.
now in modern day, we now only have two towers in Rala that have incandescence. The old, well, the smaller KZN tower, along with that one tower that's right next to city limits and stuff. That one still has its incandescent currently. So um yeah. Alright, so the KCN tower, it will never get a new beacon because it's like uh one or two feet below two hundred feet, so it will never get a new beacon. Though the other tower, since it has a working beacon and stuff, I would bleed that it will get replaced by a white and red LED. Sucks, doesn't it? That means we'll only have one incandescent in Rala, and it doesn't even work. And that's what sucks. So, uh, yeah, there, there's that. I already known that the beacon on this tower was unique and stuff. And I noticed how, um, this here didn't have the normal, that didn't have the normal lattice shape that guide towers have and stuff, like the crisscross crap, you know. So, yeah, that's another thing that I noticed that's different about this tower. Though, I, I point, I kind of pointed that out with all the other monopoles down here, too. So yeah, that, that there is my all-time favorite tower. It's had two beacons in its life, and that's probably, probably, uh, since it's like built in 2002, it still has uh, a lot more years to go before it ever gets unused or too old to really be used and stuff. So I would believe that it will have a few more LEDs in its life, because LEDs, uh, you know, do you know the the household LED bulbs? We had one in my closet. It was supposed to last like seventy something years, but it died. I think it died before actual year. So yeah, it's only lasted a few months, and it just completely died. I remember that. I was just, I felt so scammed. So yeah, I I would bet that it's the same with LED beacons. So I would expect us to have another LED one day in its life. Now, um, you know, I'm kind of excited to see that what, what future beacons this tower will hold, or will, I should say. You know, it would be nice if the cell antennas were painted the color that, the, that, that they are on. Like, the tops, well, actually, I think, uh, yeah, the, the top two would be painted red while... Um, the little one would be painted red too, and the third one, the big one, I don't know if it if it's um if it's resting on the on the red side or the white side, but I don't know. I would just say it's on the white side, so it will stay normal like it is already. All right, so this next tower is going to be uh, why is Aiden's favorite tower, and trust me, it's uh it's uh, much taller than the Walmart tower. All right, where's this? Where's this tower at? There it is. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay, that's a bad sun. That's some bad sunlight. Where else do I go? I think that's. I think that's good. All right. So as you can see, it's uh, much taller than my than my favorite tower, and this one has a uh, one, two, three. Four sets of beacons, and mine only has one beacon. Yep, four sets of beacons and four sets of markers, too. So, yeah, mine only has one beacon and one set of markers. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Well, I'm going to warn you now. Um, like, uh, 80% of the favorite towers here are going to be tall towers. Just tall towers. Not too sure if this is a, a TV tower or not. I'm pretty sure that that antenna is uh, FM. But there is uh, there is no tag for this here, so it's uh, it's kind of a mystery. All right, so I think you all know what this what this what the beacons on this tower is. It's uh, it has similar beacons to what to what my favorite tower used to have. This has old, I mean, modern incandescence. You can see right there, there's two, there's two in each pair, except for the top. So we got two there, two there, two there, then we got the top one. 
And then the markers, I'm pretty sure they still work. Um, I hope they still work. But FA is really cutting that short. FA is cutting all that crap out of existence. And I heard it's to protect the birds. And then somebody else told me it's because of something else. But he never told me what that something else was. But he told me it wasn't because of birds. So not too sure why FA is doing this. But they're against side markers on towers that have more than one beacon. They are. Trust me. It's happening. It's happening everywhere. So yeah, this has four sets of modern incandescents. This here is, uh, I would guess it's a radio tower because, uh, you know. And then that there. I forgot that tower existed. That also has an that dot That also has an incandescent. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Or maybe I got the wrong tower, but eh, I think I got the right tower. But there is an incandescent beacon tower. I mean, there's a tower here with a dead incandescent beacon somewhere down here in in Akron. I finally pronounced. I found finally after a thousand years, I pronounced it right. It was instead of Archon, I pronounced it as Akron, or no Akron or. I don't know anymore. So yeah, that's his that's his all time favorite tower. And fun fact, his second favorite tower is a candelabra. You can see that candelabra before I even showed this tower. There it is. It's uh it's a uh, it's a T top candelabra too, so he only he only has two antennas on it. This here is an older tower. Here, here's a here's a fun fact. This tower is from the early two thousands, and it has modern I mean, yeah, it has modern incandescence. This tower here is from like the sixties, and it has a uh, TWR fading LEDs. Isn't that weird? I guess the uh, incandescent beacons on this tower finally died or something, or probably the owner got too lazy to. Replace them over and over again, or maybe FAA told them to do that since it's a TV tower. But that's his second favorite tower. I didn't showcase my favorite, my second favorite tower because uh, I, you guys probably already know about my favorite, ta my second favorite tower. I made loads of videos of it because I fear that one day it's going to get an LED very soon because it still has its dual strobe. Okay, so I think this here is going to be the hardest one out of all. So, uh, this here is, uh, um, one of these towers here are Mercy, or is, uh, Marion 40's favorite tower. Can you guess which one it is? Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I think it's, uh, one tower here. Yeah, okay, never mind. I, I'm going to stop acting clueless. I'm going to show you why I believe is his favorite. Okay, okay, I think we get it now. That there's his favorite tower. If not, then it might be that one there. But, yeah, there's that. So, um, this here, I heard it has incandescence, but... This tower, I know this tower, the top of it is gray, and the antenna on it is wide, and I'm pretty sure it has, it has no beacon up there, it has the, the antenna doesn't have a top beacon, or that might be a different tower with a, I know, I know there is a one tower with a very, very thick and wide, a very wide antenna on it. And it has no top beacon on it for some reason. I don't know if this tower's it, but I do remember the top. But I do remember the top of the actual tower actually being gray. So yeah, this here is a is a ninety nine percent red and white and one percent gray. Isn't that weird? I don't know why they did that, but yeah. So uh, so um, Marion forty. If I'm pronouncing his his YouTube channel name correctly, 
created this tower in Roblox. So yeah, he kind of recre recreated it in Roblox, and I think that's how I can clearly recognize him and stuff. And I'm pretty sure he told me it still has its incandescence, because it has incandescence and stuff. Or maybe it has LEDs now. I don't know what I don't know when it comes to him because um, usually every tower that I would know of and stuff I would pro I would usually ask him beacon updates, and I would know that I would have this beacon, and then when I ask him about it he'll be like oh it has LEDs now, yep you see that tower there with the two sets of antennas or it kind of looks like a cell tower you know but much much taller. I known that tower that tower that tower. I always known it for for its two inten for its two platforms on it, and because it has incandescence too. Well, I asked uh, I asked Marion Forty on Discord about the tower, and and I was wondering if it if it still had its incandescence, and he told me that it actually it actually got LEDs. I was just like, when did that happen? Did it, did it happen this week or something? And he said it actually happened a few months ago. So yeah. It no longer has incandescence. It has LEDs, and I don't. I don't remember if he said they're night mode only or not, or if they're both day mode and night mode. But yeah, um, that's how it is. So this tower might have LEDs, maybe, um, but let's hope not. So yeah, this here is even taller than than um, Aiden's favorite tower. So yeah, this here is so far so far it's the tallest one on the list. So uh yeah, his second favorite tower um not too sure which one it is. There's two there's two tower candidates as a second favorite tower. We got one tower with incandescence. Um I think it has like two or three three sets of incandescence in modern incandescence too and a tower the top of the tower has this little like has this like little cross on it too so yeah and for some reason i think it has leds now i think i don't know i remember him um um this this guy um he likes to actually visit these tower farms and get very very close to the tower bases and stuff and i think he got very close to a tower base to to a tower that looked like one of his favorite towers and stuff um and he picked up shards of red glass um and all that stuff and that meant that it had that it used to have markers and stuff he said it's sad. It's sad knowing that this used to have markers, and then he showed a picture of uh of the glass, and uh, I, and then he, I think he showed a picture at the top of the tower too, and I was just like, oh, it's that tower, Oh, man, why that tower? I think that might be it or something. I don't know. I hope it's uh I hope it's like a clone tower because I don't want this one tower to to have LEDs because that's kind of a special tower to to Marion 40 I think and then there's another tower that might be a second favorite tower it's another red and white tower that has incandescence on it and I'm pretty sure this time it, they're old school but basically it has two sets of old school incandescence and working markers and it's uh, right next to a smaller a smaller tower that might have that it might it might be red and white or something I don't remember I think it was red and white so yeah, and then there's another tower that used to have uh bro that used to have um an old school three hundred uh, an old school incandescent on it with the uh, and um, one of the red cones were broken so every time it would flash it would kind of look pinkish and stuff so it so it was a uh, it was unique you know and um, Marion Forty actually told me that it had a history of 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 the cones breaking over and over again for some reason so uh so yeah um but sadly that tower got a curse beacon replacement guess what it got a white and red led and not and not just any led it got a crappy led yep and i'm pretty sure he's i'm pretty sure he said it has side markers uh, flashing side markers too 
It's also right next to a, um, a red and white checkered water tower. So yeah, it's nice. And here's another fun fact. That one tower with the broken incandescent now ha now LED. It's guarded by it has a guard dog because there's there's a picture of the tower base and in the picture you're able to see this this dog that's standing right next to it and I'm pretty sure there's a guy in a chair too maybe not too sure but yeah it was uh, pretty nice knowing that there's a guard dog there and there there's a candelabra sadly it has police light LEDs. Basically, they're just the TWR version of modern LEDs, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Um, sad enough. I don't know what beacon it used to have. Or beacons, I mean. It's kind of it's kind of sucks how I don't know. So, yeah. There's his favorite tower, and his second favorite tower is... Uh, not too sure what his second favorite tower is. And he's the type of person that would uh, change up his um, favorite tower stuff. So there's a possibility that, that this tower might not be his favorite tower anymore. Because I remember the one tower that was next to the to next to the, the red and white checkered water tower with the guard dog and stuff. Uh, I remember my first days on Discord, he told me that that tower was his favorite tower. And... Uh, and he said it had, it had an LED and stuff. He, yeah, he brought he brought the bad news and stuff. And then um, later on, I think the day after or something, um, I found out about that tower's existence. I think um, Wyatt's Aiden told me that it used to be his favorite tower, but after its LED replacement, it's now his third favorite tower. So yeah, um, I get I I think he's the type of person to move around his favorite towers. So you know, but I wouldn't expect this to. Um, to to uh I wouldn't expect this to be moved to a lower rate to to a lower rating, I mean rate rate rating you know, so yeah there's that. All right, so this next tower. It's right next to Fort Worth and Dallas. Yep, it's our um, good old favorite. Uh, it's our uh, one of it's our one of our favorite um, tower enthusiasts. That one of our favorite Texas tower enthusiasts. Yep, and guess what? This tower here is his favorite tower. Da, 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 da. All right, there. I think it's uh I think it's taller than Wise Aiden's tower favorite tower too. But man, um. It's not as tall as the last, as the previous tower that we just looked at. So yeah, this here, this tower is actually special. The reason why is because it has what the Walmart tower used to have. Yep, it has FH 309s. My God, that was a bad way of saying it. Like I was just like, it has like it was all exciting and stuff, and I said FH 309s. Like, um, uh, sorry for that, guys. I was actually, um, listening, uh, I was listening, um, I, I was, I was listening at a, to, I was listening to a train horn outside, outside, since there's a train going by right now, so, I wanted to hear that. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Maybe with headphones you can. You know, your boy, um, your boy, not fully a train enthusiast, but he, um, he is, he, he does like trains. So yeah, um, I'm not, in tra I'm not a train enthusiast, but I do like seeing trains go by and I do like hearing train horns. So yeah, back to towers. All right. So as, uh, as I said, this has FH 309s and I don't know how many sets it has. I would, if I had to guess, I think it, wait, I think it had, like, like, uh, four or five, maybe. Oh, my cat. My cat just got on my bed. She's, she awakened, she, she has awoken from her, she's awakened from her slumber. Man, cat, you're warm. 
Then crap. Hopefully, br hopefully, um, you kept that spare blanket warm. <laughs> All right. So, so yeah. Um, just when you just when you all thought that the specialty of this tower is all ran out and stuff. Well, well, well. There's one more thing that makes this tower very unique. All, all of the, all of the, uh, all of the three hundred nines on this tower have their own separate controllers, and and if you don't know what that means, they all flash at their own, at their own rate. I mean, not their own rate. They they all flash unevenly. They don't. They, they, yeah, they. It's kind of like that one. It's it's basically that one tower in St. Louis all over again. So yeah, and uh, yeah. So I believe this used to have like a, a incandescence. And if I would guess what incandescence it had, that it used to have, I would guess it had it used to have a uh, 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 old school. You know, look at my cat. Look at my cat. She won't let me speak. Okay, I, I see. You want you want to keep on nudging. I mean, crap. Get on the TV tower. Oh, oh. Well, oh, wait. What are you hearing? What are you hearing? Eh. All right. Let's back to the tower. So yeah, all the three hundred nines have their own separate controllers. So they flash differently from each other and stuff. So yeah, it's all kind of weird and wonky. It's kind of weird and kind of cool to see too. There is an unlisted video from Motor2K that showcases this tower at night, but it is from a distance. It's a drone video of, of Fort Worth, Dallas. I mean, Fort Worth um, at, at night, you know, downtown Fort Worth. And you're able to see the tower. You're able to see this tower from a distance and stuff. So yeah, this here has a, this here is a special. Be it's a special tower. And I and like I said, I believe that I I believe this tower used to have incandescence, and I would guess old school too. For some for the reason why is because I would guess the tower is old. That's my, yeah, that's my guess. I would think this tower, I don't know when this tower was built. I don't know what to guess it either. It kind of looks uh, like uh, more modern than most older red and white um, towers, you know, red and white TV towers. Um, my cat's giving me problems again. Say hello to Pumpkin the cat. Pumpkin the feisty calico. So yeah, there's that. And his second favorite tower, um, I don't remember what street it was on, so I can't really find it. But it's a it's a gray it's a it's a it's a gray uh, a gray guy tower that has two sets of three thousand bees. But the weird thing is, um, just like this tower, the beacons are are um, it, they don't have their own controller. They don't have they don't they don't all have their own control boxes. They um. Uh, it's just that the the top the top beacon is currently stuck uh, or maybe no longer stuck um but it would it would go to its normal day mode and do all that stuff but on night mode it will go to backup night mode and then on the and then the the second the second set of 3000 bees will just work normally it will go to day mode and normal night mode so yeah it, I, I heard it's been like that for a while, and the special thing about its backup night mode is, when it comes to 3000 Bs, um, the single strobe version of a 3000 B has the slow night mode flash. It's their, it's their own slow night night mode flash, but they are able to fla They are they are able to have the same quick mode, uh, quick flash night mode that the 308s have. And Motor 2K told me it has a quick flash uh, backup night mode. So, yeah, it's kind of weird and wonky, just like this tower's beacon setup. So, yeah, it's uh, somewhere down there. Somewhere down there. Okay, so this here, out of all out of all the others, this here's a special case. So, um, so this here is going to be Anchor, Anchor 10's favorite tower and second favorite tower, too. So, um, 
I can't, I don't know what they look like and stuff because I don't have any straight view of them. Uh, I'll tell you the reason why. So um, he he told me what his favorite tower was, and um, I remember I, I was just like, ooh, I I li I'd like that beacon setup. Um, where where's it located? I want to see its beacon setup. Well, he told me that it's in the same city that it, it's in his hometown. So uh, he he doesn't want to reveal where he lives. So. So yeah, he won't reveal what he won't reveal any any straight he won't he won't send me a straight view link to it and stuff. But so I so he can only tell me what it, what it looks like just just by a comment and stuff. He told me it's a a gray, um, I think it's gray, but it's a, it's at least at least it's a guide tower. It was built in 1998. Yeah, 1998, I'm sure. I right at the if I remember, so um, yeah, it's a and do be warned, this tower's beacon history is wonky, very wonky. So its original beacon setup when it was first built was two sets of F H three O sixes, and stuff like that. It had that ever since it was built until um like, two thousand ten or two thousand eleven. The the FH three hundred sixes were replaced with FH three hundred eights. So yeah, replacing the white and red white and red beacons with white only beacons, it's re it's a, it's a, it's a reverse thing. Just like it's a basically it's it's um, today's beacon replacements and stuff, but reversed. A white and red LED, I mean a white and red beacon getting replaced by a white only beacon. So yeah, it's it's a rever it's a reverse thing, you know. Right now we're doing the opposite of that. We're replacing white only beacons and red only beacons with white and red beacons, you know. So yeah, that's sad. So yeah, and for a few uh, for a few years it had the FH zero eight. So I'm pretty sure from 2011 to like 15 or 16. I think that's um as long. I think that's um. The longest time it had it that it had the beacons, and then somewhere around 2016 or 17, I don't, I don't remember when, but he told me the FH08s were replaced with two sets of old school LEDs. They're white and red too, so yeah, white and red old school LEDs. So yeah, when I told you the beacon setup on this tower was going to be wonky, I was not lying. It had three. It had it wielded three beacons in its life. It wielded rare. It wielded it wielded some rare beacons. It wielded some less rare beacons, and it wielded some um some rare some rare LED replacements. So yeah, it's uh, it's weird. So um so yeah, it's um the three hundred eight replacing the three hundred sixes were were cursed. And then the 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 old school LEDs replacing the the three hundred eight was cursed too, because of the because of the day modes and night modes and how and how the beacons one of them um two of them only sh two of them shine white and red while one of them only shines white, so yeah, um so yeah it has LEDs now which is a it's a it's a big shame it's a it's it's very disappointing. And I do like um, I do like uh, old school LEDs. They're my favorite. They're my favorite LED since they had the perfect night mode. Basically, the three twenty four night mode, or you can actually call it the three hundred six night mode because the three hundred six is the creator of this night mode. It's the first beacon to ever have this night mode. But it's basically a night mode that that um that um duals that flash technology dual strobes have. That's why they're called the three twenty four night modes, so or or night mode, not night modes. So uh, yeah, and when it comes to um when it comes to the the LEDs replacing the three hundred eights, I'm not mad, but I am but I am pretty disappointed. You know, it's pretty disappointing to hear that LEDs replace beacons on a tower. It's sad, you know. So yeah, there's that. And now it's time for a second favorite tower. 
this here is a, I, I'm pretty sure it's another guide tower, I think. And I'm pretty sure it also has two sets of beacons. So, um, I think it was also built in the 90s too. So, yeah, that's a coincidence, right? It's, a, it's literally the same, it's like the same stuff, just like the, just like, say, just like his favorite tower. So, this tower here used to have, its original beacon setup was two sets of fh 306s Yep, just like the, just like his favorite tower. And then year, and then years on, like, uh, I don't remember when, but I think it was also 2016 or maybe 15, they were replaced by LEDs. I don't know if they, I don't remember if they were modern or old school or whatever. I do remember him um, telling me in a comment here. I got to, I got a look. It's on, it's on this other YouTube channel. All right, so I took a screenshot of the comment. So I asked him, um, I was just like, I don't know if you ever told me this, but what is your favorite tower? And he did tell, he, he did tell me one, he did tell me one time that uh, he told me what his favorite tower was. He said, it's a great guy, okay, it's great. It's a great guy tower built in 1998, which originally came with white single strobes, and white single strobe FX-306s, but they kind of, it, they kind of flash white and red, so they're kind of white and red, but I think he's just talking about the actual look and not the actual colors it shines. Um, So yeah, on top and in the middle, which shine white at day and red at night. Around 2009 to 2011. All right, I kind of, I kind of got that right. It changed from an FH 6 to an FH 8 like setup where it shined white at day and quick white at night. And then in early 2016, okay, I got that right too. It was replaced by old school LED beacons which shine white at day and red at night. The second, the second is a gray free. Oh, it's a, it's freestanding, so it's it's a lattice. So I got that one wrong. It's a it's a gray freestanding tower built in 1999. Hey, I got that right. I, t I I knew it was a it was a 90s tower, which had side markers and originally had an FH 6 Oh, it only had one FH 6 Then it got replaced by an FH 320. Oh, I okay. I think I got all this. St oh, I I I got it all wrong now. I I remember everything now. So yeah, it got F it got replaced by an FH three twenty four dual strobe around the the late two thousands, early two thousand tens. So yeah, it has yet to have an LED. So um, that's his um, favorite tower and second favorite tower. So yeah, I, I'm not able to uh, show any picture or anything because uh, he didn't he doesn't want to reveal where he lives and stuff. So yeah. All right, so um, that's going to be it for today's video. That's just um, some favorite towers and stuff. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.